Prince Harry comforted the bereaved relatives of the Grenfell Tower fire victims at a memorial service today. The 33-year-old royal joined Prince Charles, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, and the Duchess of Cornwall at St Paul's Cathedral in London today for the multi-faith event. He made sure to talk to the emotional families of the victims as the service ended, including Maria Jafari, 38, who lost her father Ali Yawad Jafari, 82, in the blaze. Mrs Jafari read a poem by 13th century Persian poet Jalal Abdin Muhammad Rumi, and the prince congratulated her for taking part. He also spoke to her mother Fatima, and comforted her over the loss of her husband. As she began sobbing for her lost love, the prince asked an interpreter, Just tell her I'm so incredibly sorry for her loss. Apostrophe Mr. Jafari, who had a heart condition, was pulled from the building by firefighters, but died at the scene. Ms. Jafari said when she was reading the poem she felt as though she was about to cry. She said, it's very very hard. Still she, my mother, cries, every day, every second when we are talking about our father, all the memories come out again. It's six months, and it's still very hard for us. I wish nobody could have this in the whole life, in the whole world, I wish nobody would have to go through all these things. The Ebony Steel Band, frequent performers at the Notting Hill Carnival, played a verse of Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah. Afterwards, mourners poured out onto the steps of St. Paul's behind the Grenfell banner, which fluttered in the icy breeze. Clutching their flowers and photos, they paused for a moment, staring out at the bank of photographers and journalists stationed opposite. The crowd then slowly moved forwards, many comforting each other as they went. The royal family showed solidarity with families whose relatives died in the Grenfell Tower fire, by attending the national memorial service along with the local community and first responders. Prime Minister Theresa May Community Secretary Sajid Javid and Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn were among the politicians accompanying more than 1,500 guests for the 11 a.m. service. The memorial focused on remembering the 71 victims of the June 14 tower block blaze and providing those affected with messages of support, strength and hope for the future.